Tate, you are so cute with a puppy. Go on. Oh, that's so cute. Same, same. <laughs> in the rain. It's cold. It's wet. Tater Tot needs to go poo. And it's 6 a.m. Spoiler alert. He didn't poo or pee. He ate some tan bark. And I'm soaking wet. Tater Let's see your friends, bud. Where's little Tater Tot? Let's go. Tater beans. You got pajamas. Plus we have a uh, plaid one for match by flannels. Let's see, out of there, son. What are you doing in there? Hey, you look a little ridiculous in there. Never go wrong with the classics. Bitches love the smell. I do love so, the smell of it. Tess, did you hear the news? Hmm. Supposedly they're getting rid of spicy Cheetos. Really? Why? So I, I don't know, but I kind of want to go to the aisle and see if it's actually true. Damn, okay. Okay, so they still have a bunch of Flaming Hot Cheetos. I don't know... I don't know why there was this image that Flaming Hot Cheetos was going to go away. But to be safe, I'm going to buy a few. So I don't know. Okay, okay, don't go too crazy. Don't go too crazy, let's go. Bruh. Five minutes trying to get that shot. Little <laughs> bad boy. <laughs> I did not expect to buy this many things. Come on, they're gifts. Here's another random tidbit. Bruh. I'm not wearing a hat. Usually I wear a hat because I'm just too lazy to do my hair. And also, I have no hair currently, so me leaving the house without a hat is very strange. It's the first time in how long since I haven't worn a hat? Uh, a long time. <laughs> it's been a long time, so when I left the house this morning and dropped my kid off to school, I was wondering why my head was so cold and the reason why is because I don't have a hat on. Mm -hmm. Super weird. Okay. What's up, pup? So, one unique thing about this week and talking to clients, especially the fathers, a few of them feel underappreciated. Right now, it's really right before Christmas. Everything is ramping up. We're busy, you know, busy in our own rights. 
And to have a lot of clients who feel underappreciated is is something, you know, it's kind of interesting to talk to these guys about. And I was wondering, you know, what what is it exactly, right? Is it that your kids are disconnected from you? Your wives are disconnected from you? I'm trying to understand where some of these guys have that mindset. And, you know, I can't lie. I get there at some points, you know, throughout, throughout time. And I guess more so it's the disconnect from the kids. Um, regardless of who, what, when, where, why, this past year and a half or two years, however long it's been at this point, has dramatically affected kids. Whether we want to admit it or not, kids are affected, and we're starting to see the effects of it now. The disconnect, the dissonance, it's just, it's not, it's not good, for one, I can tell you that much, not good. I don't know, I mean, I know my kid right now is disconnected. We're gonna hang out later today, get a feel as to what's going on, why she feels disconnected. And that's something you can't just solve with like buying something new or getting out of town. That takes time, that takes nurturing, that takes effort, that takes the collective, the family, the friends, the environment they're in, whether it be at home, school, what are they doing in between the two? It's not like we're gonna figure it out, right? If we're gonna talk about it, yeah, at least get an understanding of where she's at right now in life because next year she's hitting high school and that's a big deal. She's already a high schooler. It's a little crazy. But it's time for donuts. Feel how heavy this is. She oh shit. <laughs> I like this box. I know, isn't that so cute? Thumbnail. They have an apple crumble. I got two of those, those look really good. So today's video, we are unboxing donuts from Apple Fritter here in San Mateo. I had something to witty to say, but I forgot what I was gonna say. I still don't have a hat on and I was gonna edit some videos and post some today but I have a lot of clean to do as you can tell my foam roller from my back has been on my desk because the puppy's been chewing on it yeah we had to put him up here because he's been chewing at these bad boys pretty hardcore luckily none are missing but I don't want to have any more getting messed up so there he is Slobbered all over this thing. Oh, Tate. Yuck, dude. Kind of, you're kind of gross, buddy. Yeah, kind of slimy, my friend. Love you. Oh, I think my first time I say I love you. Love you, buddy. It's my buddy. Hey, time lapse. But the level of unappreciation, I do wonder what it comes from. I mean, this time of year, holiday season is busy. Regardless of what holiday you celebrate, it's kind of a busy time of the year. I mean, Tater Tot has his Christmas tree, so he's getting a lot of attention on his own. And I wonder if this level of unappreciation that some of these guys are feeling 
is because of it's a little tough because during this time of year, I mean, Thanksgiving happened. We're supposed to give thanks and give this a level of appreciation for everything around us. But there is this point in time where people do have this level of unappreciation because so much attention is dissipated to gift buying, setting up for the holidays, work, life. All I know is that plant does not look to be appreciated. I need to uh, water that plant. And realistically, if someone does feel unappreciated, it's not your job to tell them that they shouldn't feel that way. Obviously, there's a driving factor for people to be upset and feel neglected. And that's valid. Everyone is allowed to feel however they feel. I mean, that's the whole point of all of this is that people have the right to express themselves and let them know that there's some level of grievance that they have with a situation that we've all found ourselves in. But as long as you maintain that line of conversation, that line of communication, I mean, that's that's key. That's why the talk with my kid is gonna be open mic. If you want whatever grievance you have, just air it out. And I think that's a key component to having a good relationship, whether it be with friends or family or whoever else, is having an open line of communication full transparency and letting people say what they want to say regardless of how much it's going to suck. But we have some errands to run. It's cold outside. Tess is there. It's cold outside. Jules is there getting tater tot sweater. To what level of success? It's a work in progress. We're gonna get food. I like how whenever I'm doing this talk head stuff, I'm always crouching down because everything is super short and I'm tall. So we're gonna get some food for dinner. Duh. I don't really know what else is going on. Yeah, we're at the mall. We're gonna get some dumplings. Cold as hell outside and we have to sit outside because tater tot and yeah. Tater, you look like a little Eskimo. Oh, some tater, come here. Sit. Let's go beans. Apparently, Jules's boyfriend may or may not be performing at the uh, little Christmas performance over there, so we're gonna creep on him. No, we're not gonna do that. She's nervous. <laughs> I don't know if it's ever gone. Jules. Not them? No? No. It's not him. Oh, this is super sketchy. The camera is on a uh, power box. Yeah, um, super sketchy. Right now we're waiting for Jules. She's buying some crystals. I just dropped my phone, but that can, that can wait. Jules is out buying some crystals right now for her Christmas gifts for her friends. We're gonna get dinner, we're gonna chill. Tater Tot is gonna eat dinner and be ravenous, as she usually is. And I gotta pick up my phone at some point, so stop recording now. Has a potter like a plant, like a thing in wow. it. Neat hair. Okay, you're the king of the hill, son. The plan has changed. The place doesn't have their heaters up and it's really cold outside. It's starting to rain. So we're gonna, what the hell? Oh. 
Kate Owen. Oh, you are so cute. Like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> You are getting bullied, son. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You guys are so cute. Oh my god. Premium, you're adorable. <laughs> Premium, you're too cute. This is good. Yeah, good kisses, buddy. <laughs> like I was saying, plans have changed a little bit for dinner. It's cold, it's rainy, well, it's kind of rainy, but we don't want to get this guy soaking wet, especially in his fur, so plans change. Jules is getting ramen? We're getting burgers and we're gonna head home, top off the night, and I gotta get to some video editing so this boy can be in some videos. The cringe you stole Christmas. <laughs>